So tell me, Christine, is this City Hall slim down good governance on the behalf of the Ford PCs, or is this an attack on democracy as the progressives would lead us to believe? Yeah, so I think three things about this move. First, I think it's a good move for taxpayers. It's going to save at a minimum uh, $30 million. That's the estimate from the Toronto Star. The government said 25 and a half. But based on last year's public disclosures of spending by council on uh, salaries and staff, it's closer to $30 million. Um, it's probably even more than that, because if you don't have... If you have 22 fewer city council members, you have 22 fewer pet projects for them to spend money on. Uh, the other thing is that this is going to be good for the governance of the city of Toronto. Right now, their council meetings are completely bananas. They were, last, last week, they had a council meeting that went on for five days. The meetings go late into the night. Councils, councillors will vote on things at 11 p.m., sometimes worth millions of dollars. They'll spend as much time debating something like a traffic light as they will a multi-million dollar contract. So having fewer city councillors, fewer voices wanting to be heard with their own special interests, this is going to streamline democracy. And the third thing that's good about it, from my point of view, just, just sorry to conclude, is it's actually good for democracy because the current plan to move to 47 wards creates a big disparity between the wards. You'll have some wards that are really small and some that are quite large, like more than double the size of the smallest ward. So it gives bigger voice to some people and a smaller voice to others. With 25 wards, they're all closer in population, giving better voter parity, which is a good thing for democracy. That's an excerpt from my daily TV show, The Ezra Levant Show. Normally it's behind a paywall, but I thought you'd like this video, so we put it on YouTube. Uh, if you want to subscribe to watch The Daily Show every day, including always two interviews a day and I read my hate mail, just click on this screen and become a premium member.